former President Jacob Zuma, led by his lawyers, arrived at the Johannesburg High Court on Thursday to seek a date for his private prosecution against President Cyril Ramaphosa. Zuma had to be present in court to avoid the matter being struck off the roll or dismissed. The former president has charged Ramaphosa for allegedly being an accessory after the fact in his case against state prosecutor Billy Downer and journalist Karen Morn. He's accused Downer and Morn for allegedly leaking his confidential medical records. On Monday, the High Court interdicted Zuma from proceeding with the case against Ramaphosa pending the president's application to have the private prosecution invalidated as an abuse of the legal process. As such, Ramaphosa did not appear in court, but advocate Dalimpovu said they will appeal the ruling. The legal effect, at least one of the legal effects of that was the fact that the accused is not here today. Uh, his interpretation of that order is that he's exempted from appearing today. We have a different interpretation, but that's not a matter that your lordship has to worry about for today. Our, our instructions that we have are to appeal the order that was given on Monday, the, the full bench order. Albeit we know it's an interim order, your lordship knows the law, uh, exceptional circumstances and so on. <clears throat> um, we, we have not yet decided which court to approach. If as we are inclined to do, it goes directly to the Constitutional Court, then we'll seek leave from that court. Of course, if we want to go to the SCA, then we must seek leave from the full court itself. But we have 15 days to make those decisions. So the, 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 that's, but in principle, there will be that appeal. <laughs> Tutu Zile Zuma, JGZ Foundation spokesperson Mzwanele Mangi, and former ANC member Carl Niehaus were among Zuma's supporters in attendance. Mangi said Ramaphosa's attempt to halt the private prosecution was weak. That argument is, uh, is, is, is based on very weak ground. So at the Supreme Court of Appeal, it will be shown that that argument does not even have merit. It, 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 it hasn't got legs to be shown at the Supreme Court of Appeal. And the Supreme Court of Appeal will be in a, or if it's that or it's a constitutional court, whichever court it's appealed at, will see that uh, there's really no point in waiting for that. The case must proceed. Ramaphosa's review application has been set down for the 17th and 18th of May. The private prosecution case has been postponed to the 26th of May.